My recent retro riding exercise has gone reasonably well. in that the mouse is pretty much back to the nice platinum gray. What I did notice in the process, however, was that the little plastic pad that the mouse is supposed to be supposed to glide on is missing from this top location. So what we're gonna do today is make a replacement. And how are we going to make a replacement? Well, I have an ice mat. And one of the things that you get with the ice mat is this little piece of um, vinyl or slip material that you're supposed to use to protect your mouse feet for going on the glass. And so we're going to make the new surface out of that, just cut a piece. Just go from there. Just cut a piece like that to fit and stick on. So first thing I want to do is make sure this corner's a little bit more square. So just go in with the scissors and, and really just kind of eyeball it. There's actually a little grain in the material which you can just about use to align the scissors with. So that gives us a, a nice pretty square corner. And we'll measure. It wants to be just about 3.45 millimeters. 3.45 is somewhere around there. I'm going to double check that. I just did what you're not supposed to do, which is measure once, cut once. A little bit more, that's perfect. And then this way it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5.5 millimeters. Definitely more than we have there. I wonder if we can poke down there to use the, the mouse itself to get a... There we go, so we've got a little indent which we can use to cut. If we get just the right length to cut that, and that'll pretty much be perfect, I think. So we'll go ahead and just sort of hope it goes all right. There we go. It's a little bit long. Let's see if we line that corner. It hangs over the edge a little bit. So we just need to cut off a little. Okay, one last thing. The corners are slightly rounded. So we just need to cut off a little bit of the corner. There we go, that looks like it should fit perfectly. So we can go ahead and clean it a little bit with some alcohol. Give everything the best chance of sticking. I don't think there's already a layer of adhesive on there, and if there is, it's stuck on way too good to get it off. That's about as clean as that's gonna get, so now we just gotta peel the backing off and stick this stuff on. Okay, it'll be a little bit easier to peel off the backing with some tweezers. And there we go. Color doesn't match, but we have a slippery surface on there, so the mouse shouldn't chew up anything when using it. We can now just go put it on that ice mat and... Oh yeah. That's very satisfying.
Thanks for watching.